I think you can hear me. Well, we're coming here, drop the van off this morning at Clayton's and coming here for breakfast in Farsley. Farsley, where it's all at. The crappiest breakfast I've had in a long time. Good morning, everybody. Well, we've had a bit of a funny morning this morning. Um, as you know, the car, uh, the uh, camp has gone in for service today. So Pat and I, we had to get up early and took, we took it, drove it up there to Clayton's. That's our service in it, Clayton's. They seem organised. We'll see how we go with them. And we walk back. We thought on his way back we'd call in for a breakfast at a place in Farsley. And it were rubbish. <laughs> Wish we'd never bothered. Um, and we've just got back. So I thought we'll have a proper cup of coffee here. Um, and do us, do us video. <clears throat> now I've got a, a shout out to make to Gang Man Mick in um, California. Uh, she sent me a beautiful message about her mum and dad who wrote to one another in the war, a dad war, um, in the war away from home for two and a half years. And they wrote, her mum and dad wrote to one another every day. And she's got 2,000 letters in a, a bag, in a case. She's had a proper case made for them. And if she could afford it, she said she'd love to do what I've done with our letters and transpose them. Um, but I mean, I asked, there's just 300 letters, I thought. Well, we, we were doing well with 300 letters, that 2,000 letters. Oh. So, to imagine. incredible, um, yeah. Grand Manic. Uh, fantastic thing. Um, and I think we'll have a live tomorrow, Wednesday night at 7. Okay, so that's an announcement today and with a bit of luck I'll remember it more than <laughs> all to announce it. Yeah. Um, yeah, as a live, 7 o'clock Wednesday. I don't know what day it is. Have you any idea what day it is? No, I've left my phone. Oh yeah, yeah. wait a minute, it's the 19th today. So it's 20th. So it's 20th. Wednesday the 20th, 7pm. <laughs> and I, I'm sorry about people in America and Australia. Um, I had a look at yesterday. Your know, Australia's nine hours ahead, and America's seven hour, five hours behind. <laughs> so I don't know how I could, could accommodate that. Yeah, you chopped off a bit there, darling. Am I chopped off? Oh, never mind. Uh, no, a, bit better. a bit better. Mm. <clears throat> Did anything happen yesterday? Happen yesterday? Um, no, I don't think so. I did a bit more to my drawing. Yeah. I've videoed it. Um, no. And I just did general houseworky things. I don't think I did any washing, but I put some away. Um, helped to leave the tidy up a bit in her room. And right. That's about it. Oh, I did bathroom and our bedroom, and that was it. I haven't got any more. No. I haven't sold any more tickets. It's stuck. 
Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm saying today is probably going to be a very long day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seeing as it's only quarter to eleven now and we've done all that. <laughs> well, no. Been up there and come back and. It's all the same yeah. when we have to service. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, we'll see. I've got another letter here. Excuse me. Um, this was a le uh, another letter from me to Pat <laughs> on the 6th of January. What was yesterday's letter? Oh, that was your, your horrible letter. That I you know. Think, you yeah. On the 9th. Oh, John. We're going backwards here. Letter 47. Yeah. Mm. I had a lot of comments about that. What a right letter, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Um, okay. That's the percolator. That's so nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's normally done by the yeah. time we're doing these. This was written on the 6th of January 1967. I don't... I, I, uh, any subscribers who don't know, we're going through these letters that me and Pat wrote to one another in the 60s when we were courting. Um, we're going through one, le one letter every day. I have just got back from an exercise and I am dog tired. I have been out since 2pm yesterday without any sleep. It must have been an all nighter. I got three letters on the scheme so I am replying to them. And I got one this dinner time. Oh. So I'll reply to that as well. They're all, oh coming, they're all coming in all at once. Thick and fast. Yeah. First I want to thank you for still writing to me while I was on the scheme. It booked me up no end. Secondly, I want to thank you for the lovely photo of yourself. You look lovely. I take back all I said about having your hair cut. You look lovely. So I must have had it cut then. That's a little photograph she sent me when she had her hair cut. I think I've got it. I'll put it up now. Pat, if your mother hadn't opened my letter, I wouldn't have thought any wrong about her. But it is one thing I don't like, and I will never forgive her for it. Don't forget the wrong idea. Don't get the wrong idea about Andy. He isn't sweet and innocent. <laughs> I have just seen him, and he is on a charge for staying in the naffy down in Hanover instead of coming straight back. Mm. So don't give him an inch or he'll take a mile. If I were you, I would call your bird Nelly. There must be something about a budgie this. All right. <laughs> I think you're Nelly. getting a budgie and I said right. call it Nelly. Right. I'll put here. I thought Cathy McGowan was about 24 or 25, but I didn't know she was thinking of marrying Dave Clark. Oh. Right. Dave Clark from the Dave Clark Five. Cathy McGowan used to introduce Ready Steady Go. Yeah, there. yeah. I have six weeks and one day to go when you can willingly hold me, sweetheart. <laughs> the next time it rains when we are together love we will go for a walk and you'll see if I don't like walking in the rain in fact I love it especially with you yeah. you're a cheeky thing I don't get drunk three times a week I must be answering letters that I am yeah. read out in here yet right Um. Usually, Usually it's so. only once. I would be bored stiff if I didn't. But you have no need to worry, as I will never get drunk when I'm with you. Mm. 
think I have been drunk when I've done that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Do you remember when I told you about not being able to sleep at night? Well, it's been like that nearly every night. I am glad you saw that other girl at the Mecca. Might give you more opportunity to get out more often. So you've not mentioned that. No. I bet that's coming. Mm. Got this out of sync, hasn't I? Must have done. Pat, if only I was with you all the time, you would be the happiest girl in the world. Hmm. You're conceited of me. Oh. <coughs> oh. I must go and wait at the phone for your call, love. I'll finish it later. Right. Oh, I'm going to call you. How's that? <laughs> Did that happen? I don't know. I thought it was the other way around. I am just back from the phone call. I forgot to tell you. I have seen a nice dress over here for 40 marks, which is £4. Well, ten marks to the pound then. Mm. So I am going to buy you it, as I have got enough money now. Anyway, sweetheart, that's it until tomorrow. So remember, I love you. Sorry I couldn't tell you on the phone, but I mean it, I do. All my fondest love to my darling Pat from your boyfriend Trev. Kiss, 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 kiss. kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> Well, a bit, uh, yeah. a bit better. Mm. Not as bad that letter, was it? No, no, definitely not. Definitely not. I must have been in agony waiting, though. Oh, yeah. For Different a things. A response to that last letter. Plus, it weren't very nice. <laughs> um. So today, I'm going to upload this video. There you go. Might do a bit more to the drawing. And then I'm going to have to set off about half past three to pick the van back up. Um, what are you doing today, darling? Going back to bed? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll get Ernie out and give him a strawberry. I didn't give him one yesterday. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, have you? No, I nearly did though. She's nearly put sugar in her coffee. She's going take sugar. I tell you, it's just thrown us all <laughs> out of sync, are we? Break oh. our routine and we just fall apart, <sighs> don't we? Yeah, we do. There we go, a bit more milk in my coffee. My coffee were a bit strong at the yeah. cafe. And mine were just a, a cup of foam. <laughs> Not as nice as Wendy and Graham's. No, no. no that, yeah. Lovely coffee. They're in Chapel St Leonard's. Yeah, Tass Tassimo do they have? Is it Tassimo, them little... Might be, I don't know. Things, yeah. Them little... Yeah, yeah. them little things. Mm. Yeah. Mmm, they're quite good. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, <coughs> I don't know what the weather forecast is for this week. No. Whether they're going to have some nice weather over there. Over on the east coast. How far do you think it is that we've walked back from? From Garage. From garage. Couple of miles. Couple of miles, yeah. Hmm, couple of miles. Hmm, yeah. Right. We've been having a good look round, don't we, back now, aren't we? Looking at, went into a mill. There were a the mill, way. Ainsworth. Ainsworth Mill. mill. We, we had a look, it's... Beautiful old Richard buildings. Way. And funnily enough, I know the lady whose family, whose family own it. Mm. Yeah, I do. Um, 
a magnificent buildings and it's still functioning it seems as a mill. a mill we actually could see into the mending room you know where they do burling and mending and there were a mm. couple of ladies in there weren't yeah they? yeah burling and mending that's what your mum used to do my mum used it? to be a burler and mender in the mill most of them are shut down yeah i'm surprised that one's still going yeah, we had a look round, didn't we? Went yeah. in there and had a look. Not in the mill itself, it just, just, the, just in the, in the yard, yard area, yeah. Walk to where they were unloading mm. wool and. Yeah, yeah. Um, a functioning mill. Mm. Mm. Very good. Um, what else did we notice, Pat? What else? Well, going back, going back to the 80s. When, um, it's when, Ernie. What was somebody coming out of steps? No, it's Ernie hanging his glass. When I, when I, after I ran the gallery, when the Breadline Gallery, when we closed it down and I were at, in my last year at college and then I started running the piano shop then, mm. didn't I? The, Graham, who was a student at Leeds Poly when I was there, he was a mature student. Um, I don't think he's as old as me, though. No. Um, he opened a gallery up there, and we Didn't walked by me. it, we were looking at... It's a house now. Mm. It was it, quite a big place. It was a house when Graham bought it, I think, yeah. and he just used rooms in there as a gallery like we did, mm. didn't I? I can't remember what he called it. No, I can't. Mm. Not the crow's nest? No. No, the magpie's nest. Oh, there was one it? called... No, it wasn't the magpie's no. nest. There was one in Pussy called the magpie's nest. All right. Uh, I don't think... No, I can't remember what he called it now. Mm. No, I can't. Um. Mm. Yeah, Graham. Now we've heard from him since. He's in, we have. In to, in, he has a film, Max film or something. Mm. In, I don't know, quite, quite what he does. He does. Yeah. Uh, still knocking about yeah. somewhere. He's still, yeah, he is. Right. Methinks that's a video. Yeah. Because of some little bits to tag on to All end. Right. All right. Yeah. So we'll see you again tomorrow, all being well. Okay. Bye. Bye.